Being one of the largest men in his division's history, you might think that Tyson Fury would rely on size and strength to bully his way through the competition. But instead, Fury is a pure boxer, cultivating slick movement and subtle traps to confound and embarrass his competitors. It's apparent that, although Fury was named after Mike Tyson, he has been far more influenced stylistically by fighters like Muhammad Ali. In fact, like Ali, Fury's entire repertoire is mostly comprised of feints, multi-directional jabs, guard manipulations, and next-level head movement, all built around a masterful sense of timing. So let's take a look at how Fury's used each one of these skills to become one of the best pure boxers on the planet. As mentioned before, the foundation of Fury's style is his timing. Fury makes his opponents fight his kind of fight, and he does this by disrupting his opponent's rhythm, shutting down their offense almost entirely. A fighter's rhythm is everything. It allows him to time his shots, move efficiently in ways he's familiar with, and regulate his breathing. Think of how professional runners time their breathing patterns to their steps. If a fighter's rhythm is consistently interrupted, it will sap their energy because of the constant need to readjust, and diminish their power by not allowing them to get set in position. Most importantly, it will ruin their balance. Fury has an innate ability to read his opponent's intentions and disrupt their movement just as they're getting set to throw a punch. His years of experience have helped him to read subtle tells by watching the movements of his opponent's hips, shoulders, or feet. It's similar to the way Norton was able to tell when Ali's jabs were coming by watching his shoulder and pec twitch. Every time a competitor prepares an attack, Fury moves offline, forcing them to abandon their attempt and reposition. And he does this over and over and over again. Sidestepping, L-stepping, or even lateral shifting offline. A lateral shift is when a fighter steps so deep to the inside that it changes his stance to southpaw. Here Fury laterally shifts into southpaw as he throws a hook, and then lands a nice body shot with his new rear hand. This is a risky maneuver, but luckily for Fury, he can jab almost as well with his right hand as he can with his left. Fury often fires jabs or feints them as he repositions, his new angle helping him to sneak in attacks the same time that he's interrupting his opponent's attacks. When he's not boxing from the outside, Fury will dance like Ali, but with a twist. Ali would dance deep to the inside in an orthodox stance to line up his jab, but Fury will also move deep to the outside in a southpaw stance to do the same. Many of the angles Fury uses are highly creative. Here Fury surprises Klitschko by cross-stepping his lead foot to the outside as he jabs. By cross-stepping with his lead foot, Fury is breaking several of the most basic rules of footwork, but he's also created an angle that Klitschko was entirely unprepared for. Here he does something similar from Southpaw, moving inside rather than adhering to common boxing wisdom and taking the safer outside foot position. Once again, the angle that Fury creates forces his opponent to try and readjust, and Fury uses the time this steals to score. By keeping his hands low and relying on footwork and head movement to stay safe, Fury can shoot out his jabs from below his opponent's line of vision. Like Ali, Fury uses multiple jabs from different angles, flicking them out like a back fist, looping them over opponent's shoulders, or shooting them out straight to their target. By threatening his opponents with feints just as they're about to move in, Fury can effectively control the ring with the slightest of movements and barely any energy expended. And by constantly dipping his shoulders and moving his feet, Fury supplies an endless amount of signals for his opponent to try and interpret. Stuttering his movement in this way lets Fury use his head movement and footwork to completely destroy his opponent's rhythm. Notice how Fury responds to Klitschko setting his weight forward by moving forward himself, repeatedly causing Klitschko to abandon his attempt and retreat. Which explains how Fury is able to potshot highly skilled opponents with power punches they should by all means be able to see coming from a mile away. To negate counters, Fury will turn these punches into holds, forcing his opponents to bear his substantial weight or pushing them off balance. When opponents do get close, Fury again channels Ali, using head movement in conjunction with angled footwork to stay safe and set up counters. Fury's substantial height makes Ali's self-titled lean back style absolutely ideal for him. He avoids punches by slipping, pulling, and rolling off of both shoulders. 
The lateral shift mentioned earlier puts Fury's rear shoulder in an ideal position to act like a shield, and also works well at close range. These techniques are understandably highly frustrating for Fury's competitors, and this leads to them rushing and overreaching with their attacks. Of course, this is exactly what Fury wants, and it makes it easier for him to pull off his well-timed counters. Fury's head movement is so precise that he can slip punches by a fraction of an inch, keeping him in position to intercept. He'll either cross his rear hand over his opponent's jab, or lean back just far enough to connect with the lead hook. Of course, Fury isn't entirely defensive, and will finish it if it looks like he can. When he does get aggressive, Fury is at his best using clinch work and wrestling to set up his attacks. Fury doesn't so much break his opponent's guard down to expose their head, as much as position their head where he wants it. Here he pulls his opponent into his punch, and then frames off his shoulder to create distance. He takes a glancing blow while doing so, but still connects, scoring a knockout. And here Fury breaks his opponent's guard by slipping his hand in from the side, and then frames off his head to destroy his posture. Fury has already taken the heavyweight championship once, and fought an incredible fight with Deontay Wilder ruled as a draw. With the heavyweight division full of interesting competitors with vastly different styles and personalities, it will be exciting to see the no doubt epic fights that Tyson Fury still has in store for us. If you would like to learn more about Fury's head movement, you can pre-order Aggressive Defense. The book is now entirely written and only awaiting pictures before completion. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you happy training.